so hi guys so today we will be learning about how to use pi game in android phone and how to work it out so today you might have seen many tutorials uh, on how to use python but today we will be focusing mainly on um, using pi game in your mobile phone and how to develop mobile phone games through pi game Firstly, I recommend you all to download PyDroid 3. So this app, PyDroid 3, is a, s a similar interface to Python in computers. But this is available in mobile phones. So what I want you to do is or download, install this from Google Play and open a new folder. So to work with Python and Pygame, Unlike how you work with Python in a Pi game in uh, if you do not know how to use Pi game in uh, normal computers, this can be really helpful. I will teach you from the start on how to use Pi game and how to work. So now we here have a new uh, uh, a new page or a shell interactive page. So what do we do? This normally works as how uh, normally we work with Python. So we can put like a is equal to input a normal function we'll just see how it works out and we'll just input and receive several values and we'll just get your name and uh, we we'll save it somewhere we will be required to save it because uh, then only can we work it out with this and just run it so it asks your name so this is just one of the simplest programs and you can understand by this you might have worked it out in your school computers and laptops and you can understand that this uh, pi game uh, sorry this python interface is as usual and as common but it is just reduced to a smaller size now uh, there are several ads in this python but uh, let's work on with this now when working in this uh, to make a pi game first we'll have to remember that there are several three four lines that we have to in so we'll have to remember that in python normal computers we will have to input pi game but in this in this pyroid version we cannot input a pi game library because there doesn't there is no pi game uh, library it doesn't exist something like that so instead of that what do we import we import pygame.sdl2 hmm, underscore sdl2 so this pygame underscore sdl2 is your new uh, python uh, library of pygame with which you can make your games so this, the new module is pygame underscore sdl2 so we'll import it as uh, pi game uh, import it as so that we do not get uh, confused with uh, normal param functions we'll import it as pi game next what I wanted to know is that we will need to import sys it is a very important uh, function and then we'll import the library uh, of pi game so from now onwards the pi pi game underscore sdl2 which you see here is now imported as import pi game so now when you start uh, the any any pi game application or any pi game work we'll have to remember when you put these four codes uh, when you put these four lines of codes there is no more uh, entering into another shell or like before as I saw like what is your name we won't go into some page like that we will be entering a pi game shell or a pi game page and uh, that is how from now on it will be work but to enter a pi game page we will have to write some requisite uh, write something so firstly we will have to initialize this module 
uh, don't worry these are several things that you will have to just uh, write in your program and then you will have to uh, create a variable so if you know what a variable is that means create a word like screen screen is equal to the first uh, thing you have to learn the first function that you will have to learn is pygame dot set underscore everything is here and pygame uh, dot display set uh, sorry pygame display and dot set underscore mode and you'll have to remember that this is a function so there is two brackets mm? and inside this function we'll have to enter a tuple or that is the uh, we'll have to enter two more brackets and we'll have to enter the size of the page or the size of the page that we are going to create mm? um, so in pygame the thing is that there is uh, especially for pydroid uh, that is when you're creating a python version of a pygame in android there is no size mm? there is no size is not valued mm? but you just have to do this the reason but you will have to do this the reason is uh, because the screen size should be stored in a variable mm? or the screen should be stored in the variable the screen or this screen variable is now your object mm? or is the object so whenever you tell screen you refer to the uh, surface of the screen we'll talk that later mm? and we'll just run it in a loop so the whole idea of pi game is that it runs in a loop mm? so while true while true we'll just call uh, the screen screen um, dot fill you see the screen variable we'll if you want to fill some colors we'll fill it uh, with dot screen dot fill the web the page you're going to create it's going to redirect to a pike game page which has which is not similar to the page you have seen before mm? but this page if you want to decide the background color you can enter the value according to RGB. So just we'll just try three values are there. Mm? So R emphasizes this is the R G B color which you see in the tuple inside this. So zero comma zero. Mm? So R refers for the value of Z uh, red uh, sorry and G the value of green blue the value of uh, sorry B the value of blue. Mm? And uh, the first value represents R, second value represents T, third value represents B. So, the if you give zero comma zero, you will be redirected to a page with a background of zero. That means a uh, full black. Mm? Now, if you give a uh, uh, screen dot fill two hundred and fifty five comma two hundred and fifty five comma two hundred and fifty five, you will be redirected to a page with this, which is full white, mm? because two hundred and fifty five is the maximum value and uh, according to uh, combinations if you uh, input 255 of each color that is if you put red and green or uh, blue together you will get all colors in the world mm? and when you put it in all in full amount you will get the color white mm? so that is what 255 of R, 255 G and 255 blue together you mix it and you will get the color white mm? so but if you want to see it you will have to do one more thing that is pygame dot display dot update so you're going to update whatever you run in the loop each time into the page so we'll just see and I'll explain once more so yeah so there's a white screen mm? so this is the white screen the pygame white screen that you are seeing here now to escape you'll have to continuously show two uh, come out twice mm? so you have to click the backs, uh, backspace uh, twice mm? so what you see here is that let me explain once more what we have done here is that these first four uh, lines are uh, lines that are necessary for any pi game uh, in in android so we have to use these four lines and we will import pi game underscore sdle because when you see here is that um, in the settings of pydroid we will see that uh, there is um, only uh, there is no python as pi game but there is only pi uh, pi game as 
pi game underscore sdl that that sdl2 that is the library they have created now we will import it as pi game so it will be very easy for us to uh, cut cut it down and we will initialize the pi game hmm? pi game underscore dot init in it that is initialized we'll start it hmm? then we will create a screen object hmm? that will uh, carry the size of the pi game hmm? so in android this is not necessary there is no size that is necessary but we will have to create an object where the screen is uh, put hmm? the size is not necessary because it does not value android will have a fixed value according to the phone size of each image hmm? but the screen uh, has to be stored on a uh, value hmm? for that sake alone let us write some value and let's run this hmm? and what we see is then pi game is very simple to understand it is just a loop hmm? so each millisecond or each second you no know, when we call screen dot fill 255 comma 255 comma 255 and we put screen dot fill that means in this screen which we have uh, defined and when we put screen dot fill uh, this parameters we create a white page but if we do not update this what will happen um, so Yes, uh, the Pi game uh, would not show the white color. The reason why is because it need to be updated. So for a very small millisecond, very, very, very small millisecond that we cannot even see, Pi game will show the white screen, but we cannot uh, see. So in this, what do we have to do is that always there are, we will have to display Pi game dot display dot update so as to make sure that our image is continuously being updated. Or the white screen is uh, continuously being updated so to, in this video you might have learned that there are two important things that you should not forget that is these first five set of codes and that is very important to call the function or the library of pi pi game underscore sdl2 as pi game and then we will have to also create pi game uh, we'll have to uh, create a loop hmm, because the whole pi game runs on a loop hmm, and in that we'll have to put pygame dot display dot update. So thank you guys. See you in the next video.